Hi there. <clears throat> We're in the lab with you, Nate JJ. So, uh, I wasn't sure today whether I would call today's video a mail call, or an unboxing, or a demo. Um, but I decided, I think, that I'm going to just call this a demo. I already opened the, the mail. Um, it was only one bag anyway. Um, it had two boxes in it. Uh, the boxes are pretty boring, so I'll show them to you in a second. Uh, but they're not exciting enough to do a full unboxing uh, <coughs> and separate demo. So today's just going to be a demo. I'm going to have a look at these uh, resistor boxes, actually. They're um, <coughs> some uh, resistor boxes. I'll show you how they work uh, in a minute. I thought I might also mention that today I've got my camo shirt on. This is my recent costume upgrade. So uh, I'm dressed up as Egon Stepman, the chief scientist from the computer game StarCraft II. So, uh, I, uh, pardon me, I was, uh, I was, uh, wearing a, a, a blue polo shirt, now I've got a camo polo shirt, which, uh, which is, uh, just to flesh out the uniform a bit and make it, uh, uh more complete. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased my new camo shirt has arrived, and, and, and Stepman wears it with the collar up like this as well, so that's the reason for that. Anyway, look. I've got two resistor boxes. I should mention, by the way, I tried to get the resistor boxes that Dave Jones has. You know Dave Jones from the EEV blog? He has this really cool one, and I think it can go. his could go up to like 50 meg or something huge. Um, and I, found, I searched the model number, and I found it for sale on eBay, but it was like 500 bucks for, from America, and then it was like $500 shipping. So I was... It was eBay was telling me I needed to pay a thousand bucks for this resistor box and I thought no I'm not going to do that so I went to AliExpress and I found uh, resistor boxes there um, and uh, and there was basically two kinds there was the kind with five uh, <coughs> um, uh, knobs and there was a kind with six 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 knobs so uh, those are the ones that I got um, and I might as well pop you over the bench and I'll show you and, and we'll, uh, we'll just have a bit of a play with these boxes and that'll be that. That's all this video is, just uh, checking out the new resistor boxes. So let's pop over to the bench and have a look. Here we are on the bench and there is one box and here is another box just like it. So that's two boxes. Um, let's pop them at, at open and see what's inside. So uh, there is uh, one leaflet, uh, it's in Chinese, I don't know what it says at all. Um, there's some numbers over here, looks like, uh, oh there we go, it says a half watt, so that's not very much, and then 20 mega ohms, I don't know if that's maximum or what. So uh, anyway, here it is, and as I said, this one's got six knobs, and I think the uh, the extra knob is actually a 0.1 of an ohm. So, uh, anyway, that's what this is. Resistor box. And uh, I, I, got, uh, I got two of them. So there's this one. And there's another one just like it. So obviously, uh, might as well bust out the old um, multimeter and let's do some experiments with our resistor boxes. So, uh, let's put him on resistance mode. Let's find some... Uh, oh, we're just going to need banana plugs for this job, I think. So let's get uh, a couple of those. <clears throat> so here's uh, here's two two blacks and, and two reds. So first of all, let's uh, hook up our multimeter, and I suppose the first thing we can do is just to, um, ah, oh, are these, ah, oh, these aren't, uh, aren't banana plug terminals. That's annoying. 
Hmm. I wonder, wonder if we could turn them into banana plug terminals. Let's have a look in here. So in here, I have a bunch of banana plug uh, sockets. So maybe we could operate on this thing. Um, let's see. Let's grab my old trusty here. Is he long enough? Yeah, okay. I'll just put it in reverse. Let's pull these screws out. sure if I'm getting in there. <clears throat> Might try a different screwdriver. <sighs> I'm just going to uh, time lapse this. Look at that. I managed to snap that clean off. So we'll have to glue that back on with some uh, Araldite. Now I happen to have some Araldite. So let's do that first, huh? All right. So we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, we've got one, two, three. Where is my fourth? There is my fourth screw. All right, so we've got our screws. We'll just keep them here. Um, now, we're gonna mix up some Araldite, uh, which is here. And we're gonna want a bit of card. Here's a bit of cardboard. So, now we're also going to need a little stick or something to, uh, to put it on with. I'll probably have a little bit of wire or something I can use for that purpose. How about this? Yeah, that'll probably do. Alright, I've got this, it's just a bit of wire. So, uh... Oh, you know what might be best? Um, just one second, I'll be back. I'm back. I just wanted to get a zip tie. I might use that instead of this bit of wire um, for administering the arrow diet. Um, and I'll just uh, snip this bit off here. This bit's the uh, the claspy bit. We won't be needing that. So yeah, we'll use that little bit of nylon for uh, for mixing the araldite and for uh, putting it on. So there's a little bit of one, and then a little bit of the other one. If you haven't used araldite before, it's really good stuff. It's very strong. It comes in. Uh, two um, tubes, um, and it activates when the when they get uh, mixed. So this is uh, <coughs> this is me in the corner here mixing the araldite. Now we've got to put some on the uh, on the bit of plastic which I broke off, which is this bit here. So let's just try and get a bunch of it on there. Looks fairly good to me. Uh, 
There we go. All right. So now, just uh, take this and we'll put it in where it belongs, which is in here somewhere. Well, I think we got that just about right. <coughs> so hopefully that will dry fairly strong. Uh, there is a bit of a leak coming through the bottom there. So I might get another bit of card and just keep that. <coughs> maybe, uh, maybe a bit of plastic would be better. I'm not sure if I've got any. I'll just put it on on this. All right. Well, we're not going to need this araldite, so we're done with that. That can go in the rubbish bin. And there's a bit of mess here, so I'll just uh, swab that up. Now I'm just going to get some light. It's my torch here, and just inspect. That looks pretty good to me. So uh, that should dry. Oh, it looks like we've got a chip over here as well. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, so the next thing to do is see if we can switch out those um, Uh, what am I going to do with this while it dries? Actually, I might take a risk with this and just lay it that way. Where did that light go? So, oh, no, dear me, can't take me anywhere. I was hoping that there'd be enough stick for this to stick, but it didn't. Still, I think there's enough glue in there for this to uh, to hold. I'll, uh, I'll just get myself another one of those nylon tires, and there's actually a bit of that araldite still over here that leaked out the bottom. So I'll uh, just try and get that on the side here. Yeah. All right. Well, Get rid of these. Oh, that's nothing wrong with that. All right. So, sorry about that. Let's continue here now. This is not going to be easy, is it? Not going to be easy at all. I uh, I really didn't want to have to uh, to have to get behind this. That's going to be hard because it's held in by. I wonder if I can pull these off. I'll get a spudger and see if I can get under there. Let's see if we can get in. I don't know if these come up or not. Hard to say. 
say. Oh dear. Looks like we're going to have to uh, to take the screws out. Well, at least they all look the same, so... Now... Alright. Alright, well they're all labelled, so we'll be able to figure out the correct way in. Let's see what we can do with this. Uh, I'm just going to uh, take a photo <clears throat> so I can put this thing back together later on. <sighs> oh dear me, I'm a bit weary today. come out yeah oh dear me there's a there's a spring thing as well I don't know how the spring thing works and it seems to have some oil on it yeah it's a spring with grease gee I don't know how that works Oh, I see. It, uh, the spring goes there, and the ball goes there, <clears throat> and then that's what gives it the, uh, yeah, right. I see. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. So, uh, <sighs> there's nothing for it. Might as well get my good screwdriver and make sure it's in out mode. I suppose we should just confirm we want to put them all in at zero and I'm not sure if I've made a mess of that or not dear me Well, 
So there should be one, two, three, four, five. I'm missing one. That's not good. One, two, three, four, five. Up oh, there he is, good. All right. Now, I do have some grease. I'm not sure if I should use it or not. Uh, the stuff I have is... Uh, it's called... Yeah, white lithium grease. So maybe I could re-grease these ball bearings. I don't know. Anyway... So there's my six springs with ball bearings, and then I've got six of these things, uh, and then these, which go in there I guess, yeah right, okay. Now we want to switch out the, uh, the banana terminals. So, um, I might use a different wiring solution, I'm not sure. You know, I might just be able to leave this as is. Just need to get this uh, nut off. How will I do that? Give me a sec, I'll find a tool. I found this little uh, shifting spanner, so maybe that will work, let's see. Okay. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is just take off the the caps. <sighs> oh dear. Alright. So we can undo these. There we go. All right, there's one nut. And here's the rest of the difference. So there's a plastic bit on each side that that goes through, a nut holds it together on the other end, and then there's a metal tab. Easy peasy. So let's just keep these at the back here. Let's get the other one off. Yeah. Oh. You don't want to do that. 
All right. So here's our board. Now what we're going to want is some uh, uh, banana terminals that will go straight through. Hmm. Probably these ones, I guess. Now let's just uh, check that that is what I think it is. Yeah, it is. All right. Oh. So we might as well keep the colours the same. No reason not to do that. Ah, now there's our first problem. Uh, the screw hole's not quite big enough. Are we going to drill it? I think we are. We're definitely going to drill it. Okay, well, in for a penny, in for a pound. We've got to, um, we've got to make these holes bigger. I could probably use a reamer to do that. Do I want to do that or do I want to drill it? See how we go with the reamer. Just pop him in there. enough to fit in. Alright, well, keep going. How about that? That's better, but we could do a little bit more. Let's try from the other side. Yeah, that's fairly good. Could be just a tiny bit. Oh, no, that's good. I'm happy with that. Yeah, sure. That'll do. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. It's, it's pretty good. <clears throat> now, I'm going to need the plastic bit. <clears throat> then they had the washer. Then they had the metal tabs. So let's put our metal tabs back in. One and all right. Let's 
see if we can get this figured out. One there. Might just do one at a time. So it was uh, metal tab and then the first bolt. There we go. It's working. Do the same on the other side. Now, there are an extra pair of screw, screws to go on with that. Looks like it's working to me. Let's just try. Banana plug. Yep. Banana plug. Yeah. It's working good. All right. So I'll just uh, I'll put on those two extra nuts. One here. And one here. All right. Oh, wouldn't you know it? It's just a tiny bit. Yeah, okay, that, that, uh, <clears throat> that's annoying. You see, um, these pop out too much. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Are we going to get the angle grinder? I think we're going to have to cut those off. Not much for it. I think that's what has to be done. I think that's what has to be done. We have to cut those off. That's not good. Yeah, that sucks. How are we going to do that? I guess we could just cut them off. I'm not sure. What we might do is get uh, two, two new ones, that one and that one, and just uh, do them right up. Uh, dear me, I'm not sure. I'm going to take a break and think about it. Alright, I'm back. And I found these. Uh, they're smaller, so uh, I, I might be able to use them and then I won't need to chop that bit off. Do you see, the problem is when I put in this board over here, the, uh, the, the things stick too far out and that touches the board. So I've either got to cut a hole in the board, which you don't really want to do, or I've got to chop those off so they're smaller. Or what I'm going to do instead is try using these smaller ones. So uh, first things first, let's get let's get these things off.
Alright. So, let's get these guys out. One red one and one black one. Now let's just confirm that we can stick a banana plug in this thing. I'm sure we can, but it never hurts to test. Yeah, that goes in fine. Good. Now. I don't think I don't think it's gonna fit anyway we'll let's take it off and then we'll see man it just gets trickier and trickier is our board and the clip has to go over that and it won't all right so we're going to need to solder on some new uh, leads <sighs> what a hassle Well, let's assume we can do that. We've just got to do this now. And of course, we're going to have to make our holes even bigger, which is not something I really want to do. Man, there's just no good options. I suppose we'll put in the big holes and we'll hope that that this just works out. Oh dear. Um, and before we go in, we're going to have to put some hookup wire on these guys. So let me go and find some hookup wire. I'll be back in a sec. Here's some uh, 24 AWG hookup wire. So, uh, power up the soldering iron. Up it goes. On. is all a bit of a chore. While the iron's heating up I'll just uh, <coughs> ream those holes. Uh, well, don't want to make them bigger than I have to. Yeah. 
you know, actually I'm, I, I might just uh, screw this into the plastic a little bit. That might be a smart idea. I'm not sure. That's pretty close. Pretty close. Oh, I come from the other side a bit. Close. Get in there. Yeah, that's that's fairly good. I wonder, could I? Uh, oh, I might just a little bit more rainy on this side. All right, now let's see if we can get this guy to go in. Now, which way do we go? This way. So we want red on this side. Not because it matters. Up oh, there we go. All right. All right. Now, how much wire do we want? I want heaps so that I can just keep it all. I wonder if I can do better. Yeah, I don't know. I've got this wire. I think it's really probably as good as I'm going to get. This does seem a bit bigger though. Not sure. Uh, we'll just use this. Should be fine. So let's just uh, snip that off there. There's our bit of wire. Now, gonna need the wire cutter. This will just take the uh, insulation off the ends, which is something we wanna do. So just, uh, this wire really doesn't seem as thick as I was hoping. You know, I've got some 22. That's good, I've got 22 gauge. That's better than 24. <sighs> Here we go. Here's some 22 solid core. So let's use this instead. Now how much do we want? Say about a foot, I guess, huh? Ah, uh, it's not rolling out of its thing. It must be a... Uh, Pull it up. There we go. Okay. And how much do we need about that much? We'll do. I 
think I'll snip him off. Now, let's just do the, uh, the wire stripping, one, and two, and three, and four. Now, one thing we could do is just take the uh, the current wires um, I'm going to take these wires off Should we do that? Or maybe Maybe we don't want to do that, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to put my gloves on. These are my gloves, by the way. I'm just going to pop, uh, gonna pop, pop these little bits out. There we come. There we go. There's one and two. There we go. All right. Now, the uh I'll just get myself some solder Now this little tab, uh, needs to be soldered on, so let's just, uh, bend this in half, like that, and then feed it through here. And oh, it just uh, wiggled out of place at the last minute. Dear me.
<clears throat> All right, it looks fairly good to me. Bit of solder on the back there. Doesn't matter. I'll just clean, clean that off. <clears throat> All right, now we've got to do the same thing for the black terminal. So we'll just uh, take our little wire, bend it around, hook him on. All right. And a little bit more solder. So now we're just going to put our red wire in. <sighs> All right, so that goes over there. Uh, I think it was. Uh, First it was the washer. Then the wire. And then the nut. Yep, it's all falling apart. I'm going to have to take these gloves off there. Uh, a bit too cumbersome. Oh no, we've got him. Well, seems fairly good. Now let's just test the, uh, the cable in. Yep. Okay. Well, so far so good. So now we've got to rein ourselves another hole for the uh, the other one. I'm just going to loosen this up a bit and then drop that around this way. I want that there. There we go. That seems fairly good to me. Yeah. All right. So we need to, uh, to ream another hole here. Pretty close now. There 
There we go. All right. Well, let's take that. him through there and then we need to put on the washer uh, I might take the gloves off now <clears throat> now the washer on now we're going to need to put uh, the wire in. Here is the wire. And then uh, we're going to need to put a nut over the top of it. This is the nut. All right. Let's hold that in place. Now. There we go. There we go that in. Very good. All right, well, we're going to get that as tight as we can. That's pretty good. Same with that. All right, so we've got uh, two, two, two wires in. We've got heaps of long wire, so that'll be uh, plenty of slack for us. And then we'll just confirm that the, uh, the plugs are working good. There's one. There's another one. Awesome. So, uh, we just need to wire this on. <sighs> All right, well, how are we gonna do it? I suppose we'll just, which way do we wanna send it through? Send it through this way. Why not? <sighs> All right, now I'll put this guy on. Bit, bit of solder over here. We just got to do the same thing on the other side. Just need to make a bit of a hole there. So, we've got these enormous cables here now. Let's just uh, tidy them up by running them around the, uh, the things. Okay. I wonder if a coil is a bad idea because of uh, uh, inductance. I don't know. Go. Just pop that there. Okay. Great. 
So now we just got to get the uh, the bits and pieces in. So. Need some sort of a clamp. Maybe if I just put one in to hold it all together, then I'll put the rest in. What do you say? So we've got one in, it's on zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Well, hopefully that's right. I'm just going to get my uh, mechanical screwdriver and we're going to put him into go in mode. I'm just going to give this a really big, mighty tighten up. Oh, look, you know, uh, it is easy to see there and there is obviously zero because it shorts this to this. So, um, so that is correct because it's zero on this side. So that's cool. So we should be able to figure out the rest of these now. Or should we do them one at a time? Why not? It's not going to hurt us to do them one at a time. So um, let's just keep on keeping on. We need to put in... Our, uh, our spring and our ball bearing there Oop. and then this guy is going in at zero which is there there we go and then now just confirming that zero yes <coughs> And uh, guy goes there, and the screw goes in there. All right, um, I'm going to time lapse this. All right, so that's all done. So uh, this should be working now. Let's just calibrate it at zero. Um, uh, I might just put this back together. Uh, 
uh, I'm going to need to look at uh, at the old one. Give me a second. I'll fix this and I'll be back. Actually, you know, what? I'll time lapse this. All right. So that was just putting those uh, back together so they can go back in the drawer. Let's do that now. Here they go in there. Now we'll keep these ones on the bench because we'll do this one next. Now that we're experts at it. All right, I'm going to take a break. I'll be back soon. I'm back. Just thought I'd uh, clean up this mess here. All So let's test this baby. Um, here is our multimeter in ohms mode. All right, so we should be able to zero that and get a zero reading. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and then in here, now it's all on zero, so it should all just be zeros. Okay, it's it's 50 kilo ohms. That's not good. 50 kilo ohms. 55, in fact. Okay, this is definitely not working. Oh, how disappointing. Let's see if uh, if this works. This is the uh, the original one that we had. Give me a second. I'll find some spade lugs or something. All right, I'm back. Um, what I've got here um, is just some alligator clips for the meter. I'm going to plug that in there and then we'll clip them on here and here. All right. Now, it says three ohms. So, what do you reckon? Is that in the cables? So it looks like we've got about three ohms in the cable. Yeah, okay. So let's say uh, 100K. Yes, that's 100K. All right, what about 1.1K? Should be 1.1K, pretty close. And what about, yep, 11.1K. All right, well this box seems to be just about working. So I wonder what we've done to our other box. It, 
uh, it isn't working. I'll switch these out again. Uh, someone's having a conversation out there. Now, let's uh, try again. So let's just see how much uh, is in the cables. So if we put that together, it should be about zero. 0.8, yeah, that's about zero. Now let's just check on the back side here. Oh yeah, I got that wrong, didn't I? Man, I, I, I have completely bollocks this. Dear me, you can't take me anywhere. Well, we did take a photo of it, didn't we? That's going to come in handy right now. Um, Alright, this is the photo I took. So the short side, short side, that's got to be short side. Ah, uh, the short sides are it all the way. Alright. Wow. Okay, well that's good. At least we uh, at least we have a move to make. So uh I'm going to time lapse this. All right, so uh, I'm just going to give these one last tighten up. And then uh, we'll give it a test. I uh, believe it'll work. I'd be surprised if it doesn't, because uh, everything should be tickety boo by now. So let's put him in there and him in there. And this is measuring 1.1 ohms, which is good. Good, good, good. All right. So let's bump it up to. Um, oh no, this is not good. What have I done? Oh, I see what I've done. I got the, uh... <laughs> Alright, I'll fix that. So, uh... You see, this should be zero and zero. So I've just made a mistake there. How annoying. Where did I put that screwdriver? Yeah. Alright. Which ones are wrong? This is wrong. Alright. So we're going to turn him around to zero. Zero. And turn this around. There. Ah, oh dear. All right, is that reading zero? It is. Very good. And then this one is wrong as well. Dear me. I think I made every possible mistake with this. There we go. Again. Now, again, um, this should be reading zero. So let's give everything a full twist. 
There we go. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Here's our meter. Let's uh, let's measure him again. We've got uh, 0.7 ohms. Very good. Now we we'll put that in there. What have we got? <sighs> That's not quite what I was expecting. It says uh, point. Eight kilo ohms. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's have a look at that photo again. Okay, that's at one ohm. That's what I would be expecting to see. Okay, let's bump it up 0.1 of an ohm. Yeah, it's gone to 0.7. Let's go to 1.7. Pretty close. Let's go to 11.7. Okay, that's 11. Let's go to 111. Pretty close. Let's go to 1111. Yep. And let's go to 10,100. It's 11K. Okay. I declare that mission accomplished. So we should be able to put this thing back in its uh, enclosure now. Uh, and it should just continue to work. Let's uh, let's let's take it through its paces to see that every contact is working. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna uh, zero it, and we'll just do uh, each one. So that's 20k should be 30k. Yep, should be 40k. Yep, 50k. Yep, 60k. Yep. I'm going to I'm going to time lapse this as well. All right, well that all checked out the uh the test each one it's uh it's not 100% but it's very close so it would be within spec. Usually these resistors are uh plus or minus 5% or plus or minus 10% anyway, so it was certainly better than that. It was it was almost bang on. It was really quite good. So, uh, yeah, I can't complain. So, let's put this thing back in its thing, huh? Now, that Araldite from earlier, I don't know if you can see in there. I think it's all dried up pretty good. So, I'm not real sure how this all hangs together. I suppose just like that. <sighs> what 
wonder if I can use this guy. I'd like to use my... Uh, Might need to hit it with the manual screwdriver at the end. Ah, oh, this is the one with the Araldite. Now we're going to do the other one. We probably should, huh? Let's just set this at five, five, five. I oh, know four. Let's set it at four, 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 um, and give it a uh, a go on the old uh, on the old multimeter here. So let's go in there and in there, and it's all zeroed out. So it should be zero, 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 one point one. That's pretty close to zero to me. All right. I'm just going to do it four, close to four, and then four should be 44, pretty close, should be 444, yep, point four four, point four four four. very close, alright, so this should be uh, 4.444, okay, 4.444, okay, very close, and let's do that. And that should be 44.4K. 44.4K. Exactly right. Excellent. All right. Well, now that we're experts at it, let's do the next one. Um, I think maybe I'll time, time lapse this one. So uh, let's go. And that's it, done, that was our second one. Now, just when I uh, was finishing putting it in a case right now, I heard an almighty crack, something went crack. Uh, doesn't sound like there's anything loose in there. Um, let's just uh, make sure that the uh, thing's still working. I did, I did give it a bit of a test already, uh, but then there was the big crack, so maybe something, maybe the circuit board in there snapped or something, I don't know. So we're just going to point four it. We're going to four four four. So we've got point eight ohms on the on the uh, on the cables. All right. So we're going to go four. Okay. And then four. 
Fair enough. And then four, so it should be 44. It is. Okay, 444. 444. 4.44K. 4.44K, pretty close. 44.4K. 44.4K, pretty close. All right, I'm going to say he's working great. All right, well, I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to come back and we can proceed with the demo that we were trying to do in the beginning um, with our new uh, recently modified uh, resistor boxes. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, well, uh, this video got a little bit more interesting in the end than it was going to be. Uh, I was just going to demo these boxes. I was basically just going to put them in uh, in series and in parallel. Um, just to show you uh, them working. But of course the terminals were shit. They were these spade lug kind of terminals. Um, so I took them out and I put in these banana plugs. They're heaps better. Uh, so we might as well just finish the, the demo. And then we'll wrap up the video. So first things first, um, we'll just use uh, we'll use them in series to get uh, the maximum uh, um, that we can get. Put that one in there. And that one in there and we'll put them in series so we just need one cable to go from here to here all right now let's uh pop him over there can you see that you can all right we'll put him into ohms mode now uh why is it Oh, that st I've still got some on four. All right. Now, in series, they add. So we should be able to get 100, 200K. 200K. <clears throat> so, uh, so let's try. Nine, 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 nine. 99 nine. should be uh, 100k it is and 9999999 should be 200k very close very close to 200k <clears throat> fair enough so this thing can't do using them together this is the maximum resistance i could get about 200k there you go. So disappointing. You can't even get up into the one ohm range. One, one, one mega ohm. It's well short of that, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, okay, cool. <coughs> uh, so I suppose to get the smallest resistance I could possibly get, I'll put them in, uh, in parallel and, uh, and just use the 0.1 ohm uh, put them all back at zero. <clears throat> okay, that's all zero. So we're reading uh, about two ohms. It's going down. It must be with the temperature or something. So first of all, let's uh, just put uh, this there. Okay. And we're going to put them in parallel. So I'm going to put that up the back there. And we'll put that there and that there. And then we'll take this and we'll put that there and that there. All right, so now they're in parallel. We're read, they're all at zero. We're reading uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 ohms just on the cables. Now, if we add 0.1 of an ohm, what's going to happen? 0.4. It's gone, it's gone up. Uh, 0.1 of an ohm. Okay, and this should uh, halve it, shouldn't it? 
Oh, it's at 0.3. And if we add this, it's gone 0.5. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's do something that's uh, that's going to be uh, noticeable. Let's say uh, 4K. 4K here. Why didn't that work? Oh, because this is on zero. And 4K here. And it's 2K. Exactly what we'd expect. 4 and 4. <coughs> half of it is 2. So, uh, <coughs> just a little bit of... Uh, is it Ohm's Law? I'm not sure. Um, the resistor addit additivity and divisitivity. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. Anyway, that's uh, resistors in parallel. You put it at four and four, you get two. This is exactly what we expected. So uh, I, uh, I don't think there's much more to show you. I'm, I'm going to take you over to the welcome cam and wrap this up. And when I say welcome cam, I mean I'm going to take you over to the farewell cam and wrap this up. And that's a wrap. So uh, <clears throat> in this video, I was just going to demo, I was going to be a really quick demo, a parallel resistance read, reading and a series resistance reading and that was it, that's all I was really planning to do with my two new resistor boxes which arrived today from AliExpress. Um, but when I went to do the demo I found they had these dodgy like uh, spade lug terminals on them, uh, which is of course not what I wanted, I, I wanted banana plug terminals. so I, I just spent the whole of this video modding my two resistor boxes. The first one, I figured it out how to do it, and the second one, I knew what I was doing. So um, that would have been time lapsed in this video. I'm going to go and do that now. So uh, yeah, that concludes the, the video. I'll, I'll put a link to these uh, devices where I bought them on AliExpress. The instructions were in Chinese, but I think I saw it saying that they were half watt. So this is only a half watt capable resistor box. Um, so probably explains why it was so cheap. Uh, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching. And please remember to hit like and subscribe.